Hi guys, my name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and welcome, welcome back. <laughs> um, as the title to the video suggests, today we're going to be discussing the difference between the Red Heart Creme de la Creme and the Red Heart Softy Smoothie and how I feel that they compare to other dishcloth cottons out on the market. So, well, at least the Lily Sugar and Cream. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I am not a huge fan of working with dishcloth cotton. While I love homemade dishcloths, they work great. They're easy to wash, easy to care for, and they last a lot longer without getting grubby and nasty. Uh, working with the cotton is a bit of a struggle for me. But I did try the two new uh, dishcloth cottons that are on the market from Red Heart. And if I hold up any of the pieces that are made out of the coral, that is the scrubby smoothie. If I hold up anything that's made out of the jade, that is the creme de la creme. So I could not find my ball bands to save my life. The creme de la creme actually says that it is made out of brush cotton. It's 100% cotton. And you can see... Well, you could just a second ago. Really? Camera? I have some really bad lighting. We are still in the process of moving houses. And, uh... Here we go. You can see how that's plied. It's tightly plied. Each strand is very segmented and apart. Which is very common with a lot of dishcloth cottons. This one, on the other hand, you can see it's a much looser ply. Each ply in the yarn itself kind of folds and fluffs. Um, I only crocheted with the Softy Smoothie. I knitted and I crocheted. Actually, I take it back. I knit and crochet with both of them. Uh, I had no issues with splitting. I did, however, notice a very different texture. Um... If you look at this, it looks very similar. This is actually, I believe, Lion Brand Kitchen Cotton. But you can see it's got a very similar plying to that jade green where it's a very tightly spun. Each strand in the ply is very tightly spun. It's a little bit coarser on the hands. It's fairly rough. It is 100% cotton. This isn't the one that is cotton acrylic blended. Um... This, like for a long time, has been my favorite dishcloth cotton on the market or kitchen cotton on the market um, because it is slightly softer. It has a slightly more brushed effect. I don't, well, actually I take it back. I was going to say I don't have anything that's made out of sugar and cream or peaches and cream, but I do. So you can see how tightly spun that is. And you can see how the plies are very segmented. So they... The creme de la creme looks incredibly similar in the way it's constructed, but because it is brushed cotton, it has much more of that, um, the denim yarns that are like 75% cotton, 25% acrylic, it feels more like that. It was actually quite pleasurable to work with, even though it is so densely plied and each strand is so densely twisted. Um, it really did just kind of fly off the hook. Now, uh, I've mentioned this before when it comes to my crochet hooks. I very much am a Clover Amore girl. When it comes to knitting needles, I really do favor the Chow Goos. Um, so those were the hooks and needles that I did use for the projects that I completed using these two yarns. Um, this is the most, the creme de la creme is the most similar to what you're going to see in peaches and cream and sugar and cream. This, however, has a very different texture. It's smoother. It's It feels more buttery. It's got a more luscious feel to it. It's more pliable. It's not as stiff. Um, I didn't find Knit Picks Dishy to be that dissimilar, um, but this one was definitely dissimilar. It feels a lot more like the original Kitchen Cotton from Lion Brand. Now, this is the original that is 100% cotton. There is no acrylic in this one. Um, they have relaunched Kitchen Cotton a number of times over the years. So, I do I do want to specify this is the one that it was on the market five to eight years ago. It's the original one when they launched Kitchen Cotton for the first time. This was the original Kitchen Cotton yarn. 
Um, so it is different than what's on the market today. Um, my understanding is it's re-up but softer. Um, and they are re, is it re-up? The upcycled cotton yarn they had. It feels a lot like that, except it, it was also a brushed cotton just like the creme de la creme is. I am still working on my coffee. Thank you. Um, I was shocked at how much, because it's packaged just like the, the other stuff. It looks just like the other stuff. When you initially touch it, it even kind of feels like sugars and cream and peaches and cream, which, once again, make great dish claws. I hate using them. Um, you can even tell in the drape of the knitted dish cloth how much more drape it has. And I use the same size needle I normally do. Um, I still wouldn't use this for garments. It would be very heavy as a garment cotton. Um, but anything where you're, where drag pull and things like that. I mean, you, even with the knitted stitch, you can see how much stretch beyond the stitches. You still have great stretch pliability. It's, it's the finished objects beautiful. And yeah, I did a textured scrubby. I also did a crocheted dishcloth. So I would definitely say if you're looking for that one ball, that's going to get you a whole lot of or not a whole lot, but one or two dishcloths. This is really a nice one to use, and it was much more pleasant to use than peaches and cream and sugar and cream. I did not double check the pricing before I got in here. I believe Joann's has it for $2.99, but I've been really off on my prices recently, and a lot of that stems from the fact I wait for things to go on sale, and I use 20% off sale price coupons. So I could be off on the price. It could be more. It could be less. But I think it was $2.99 a ball. Um, really enjoyed it. Um, the Scrubby Smoothie, on the other hand, I, I don't know the deal. But this has even more flop and drape knitted. Um, this is that same scrubby I did. And like I said, you can tell just the difference in the way it's done. This is some of the most beautiful made for body scrubbers, bath scrubbers, kitchen scrubbers, cotton I have ever used. I've used nice quality and experienced nice quality cotton that's made for garments. As far as things that are mass on the market, made for dishes and things like that, this was incredibly beautiful to work with. With the crochet, uh, the Amore crochet hook, it just glided. I mean, this is a pattern stitch down here. I did front post stitches on here. Even the way it, you can tell it hangs to itself because it's cotton. There is grip to the nature of cotton, but you can tell it also easily moves through itself. It's a very smooth yarn. Softy Smoothie is a very appropriate, or Scrubby Smoothie is a very appropriate name for it. Um, the soap bags I did all turned out beautifully. They, you have great stitch definition. I would still only use this for kitchen and bath products. I would not use this as a garment cotton. This is another example of brushed cotton though. And I'm finding in particularly as I'm working my way through a lot of the cotton yarns I have amassed over the years, I am really excited and really happy about seeing more of the brushed cottons versus the durable cottons. I try not to say bad cottons, but uh, I've talked to a lot of knitters and a lot of crocheters who have the same problem when it comes to kitchen cotton as I do. It's just not that exciting. It's not that great. It's not that exciting. It's very difficult to work with. It's very hard to make it go into stitches. Um, these are not like that. Um, these are very soft. They're very luscious. The way they're plied and the kind of yarns they are are different from each other. As I showed you, you can tell it even in the stitches where this is far more loosely, loosely plied and loosely spun. Whereas this one is made to be a lot more durable because the base for this is that brushed cotton. 
these are unwashed. This is just how these came off the needles. And they're already that drapey. They haven't been washed. They haven't been dried. These are literally off the ball, off the needles. Boom. So all in all, I would have to say, try these yarns. I give them four out of five because just being a five out of five is almost impossible. Um, but if you're looking for dishcloth cottons, I cannot recommend these high enough. I did not do a color fastness test, but I will say I've seen a lot of people over the last couple months complaining about color fastness in cotton and in wool. Wool is a little bit easier in the dyeing process to get it to take color that doesn't bleed. When it comes to cotton and silk, though, because the fiber itself is so dense, it doesn't have open follicles like wool does or alpaca or merino, you do tend to have a little bit more bleeding. So I would definitely wash these in a load of towels, wash these with a load of darks, just in case. Um, if you're gifting these, I would maybe take a strand, put it in a little couple tablespoons of water and see how it bleeds. Um, I use vinegar as fabric softener, which actually helps with color fastness. Uh, I don't end up with a lot of grayed blacks and nicer quality clothes um, because I do use the acid as part of my washing process anyway. Um, I don't think you really need to be worried about care, longevity, or anything else. While they are softer, and particularly the creme de la creme, because it is so tightly spun and so tightly plied, I don't think you're going to have any type of problems with pilling over time unless you just exceed the yarn's maximum. Um, the Scrubby Smoothie, it is more loosely plied. It is more loosely spun. So you might have a little bit more pilling with that, but that's true across the board with any type of yarn. The more durable the yarn feels, the less likely it is to pill over time. Um, and I've said this a number of times with wool. You know, people say, ooh, that's coarse. Ooh, that's scratchy. It's durable. Um, those types of wools generally last substantially longer. They look better for substantially longer. They also have much better stitch definition when you really want your stitches to show and to pop off your piece. So those are actually pros to most yarns if you're planning on washing them and using them more regularly. Yes, they're not as pleasant to work with, but they are fantastic core yarns to be using for the longevity of the item. Um, I really don't know what else to say about these aside from they definitely get the carry thumbs up. If this had been what's on the market this whole time, I would totally be addicted to making dishcloths and coasters and placemats and things like that out of cotton because these were absolutely beautiful to use. And I've said it before, you know, I really love the original Lion Brand Kitchen Cotton or the Lion Brand Dish Cotton. I can't remember specifically what the name was. Um, as much as I've loved this yarn and as much as is close to Carrie likes using cotton as I could get with this, I still had problems with it. I still find it very dense. I mean, you can see the, the difference in the drape with that. It moves much slower. It doesn't bounce. Um, even though this is a very stretchy stitch, you don't get quite as much stretch and bounce back with it as you do the two we're talking about today. So, uh, I would definitely go try these two out. If you see them on sale, like I said, I bought them on sale from Joann's. I think it's like $3.99 or $3.29 or something for the Scrubby Smoothie. I've seen it for as high as $5.99. But I can't remember whose website that was on. Um, when it comes to things like these, joannes.com actually runs some of the best sales. Because they, they'll run the all yarn up to 40% off and you can use your 20% off coupon. These, anything by Red Heart tends to be on sale at at least 20 to 25% off. Just a little buying tip there anyway. Um... So I would definitely, when you see that sale or you get that email saying, check out our yarn on joyance.com or we're running a sale or uh, I know 4th of July will be coming up soon and they'll start running their uh, 4th of July firecracker extravaganza or whatever it is. 
Uh, definitely go check them out. Uh, the next closest yarn to these that I would say try has been the Premier Home. Now, Premier Home is blended with polyester, so it's not as good for things like hot pads, trivets, things like that. Um, these are 100% cotton. So, I was impressed. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to be impressed. I really thought it was going to be kind of how I felt about the Nick Picks dishy, where it's good, it's nice, it's dishcloth cotton. Um, these definitely feel like something a little bit more special. And in particularly with the creme de la creme, amazing dishcloths, both knitted and crocheted. I had no issues with splitting. I had no issue with um, broken strands. I didn't have any issues where a, a lot of times with cotton, I have noticed um, some of the plies will be so tightly spun that they're snapping in the plies and you kind of have to cut out a section because it starts bunching on itself. I did not notice that with either of these either. And I don't know if it's part of the Red Heart quality increase over the last two years. I don't know if it's just the, the way they brush the cotton. I, sorry, I've been packing the house. So I literally have dust in my face. Um, I don't know what what they've done differently with these versus their other dishcloth cotton lines, but these two in particular really were very pleasurable to work with. They flew off the hook. They flew off the needle. Um, I had no extra traction or friction using the normal hooks and needles I use. So I would definitely say thumbs up, give these a shot. Um, I'm going to go eat me some lunch. And I'm going to start getting these uploaded. Uh, I did do three videos today. I have a show and tell. I have my May yarn bingo. And now this video. So I've got a uh, busy couple of minutes here getting everything uploaded. I do want to get some lunch and get back to packing. Um, this will be changing again here shortly. So... <laughs> Um, we will definitely have a little bit of our rearranging of the room here. Um, but once again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. Uh, I would definitely say once again, these are more durable than I love this cotton, but not scratchy, uncomfortable, or difficult to use. So I'm very pleased to be able to give a positive review to dishcloth cotton. Who knew? All I had to do was wait my entire life for something to come out that I really thought was nice to work with, not just a nice finished object. So you guys have a wonderful weekend, a great week. I'm not sure when I'll be uploading this, but uh, take care and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye guys.